Good afternoon, everybody. Chag Sameach, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land, coming to you from Modi Inn in the center of Israel, wherever you are around the world. And I know what you're thinking. Are we ever going to see a proper Israeli government form? Well, it looks like we're closer, well, or, or, or at least um, one step closer, will it be two steps back than uh, we were this morning? So in the last couple of hours, Prime Minister Netanyahu, who is head of the Likud party and is currently mandated with forming a government, put forward a proposal to the blue and white leader, Benny Gantz, for a broad-based national unity government. And in this uh, proposal, he is alleged to, to invite Gantz and his party to sit with the Likud, as well as his religious allies, and form a proper government. One of the pressing issues which Prime Minister Netanyahu has put in his proposal is the issue of security. And uh, with the situation in northern Syria and Turkey uh, attacking the Kurdish people in the north of the country and the opportunity that it is presenting for the Iranians, uh, the general feeling is that a government needs to be formed as soon as possible so that we do not allow for security concerns to fall down on the agenda or allow for elements within the, um, the Gaza Strip and Hezbollah as well as Hamas to take advantage of a lull in government. Now, officials from the Blue and White are said to have dismissed this proposal from the Prime Minister, saying that uh, it's his way of trying to avoid any kind of blame if Israel goes to a third series of elections. However, earlier today, uh, the um, uh, Blue and White leader, Benny Gantz, was quoted as saying that uh, he is prepared to enter into a coalition with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu although Prime Minister Netanyahu does have an, expira uh, an expiry date. So we'll see how the day uh, events unfold, but uh, we will be the first to let you know if Israel does finally have a government. In other news, we are waiting for the Trump peace plan, the deal of the century, the details of the Trump peace plan to be uh, revealed to to Israel, but what we do know is that according to the U.S. ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, who addressed a group yesterday, he said that the Trump peace plan does not entail any settlement evacuations from the West Bank. And this is quite a departure from previous U.S. administrations who have put that as a clause in their peace plan. But we wait with bated breath. Uh, to see what the rest of the plan uh, has in store. We know the economic proposals put forward with uh, Peace to Prosperity and uh, the discussions around that that took place in Manama and Bahrain earlier this year. And uh, now we have confirmation from the US ambassador that no settlement evacuations will be expected. And uh, on to other major news, the IDF have announced that they shot down a UAV, that's an unmanned aerial vehicle, or drone as it's also called, fr uh, fired from the Gaza Strip uh, towards the southern security fence. Now, the IDF have not said whether or not the drone actually had entered Israeli airspace, but did say they shot down the UAV, and this is keeping in line with their policy of shooting down other UAVs that have been fired from the Gaza Strip into Israeli territory. Those are the major stories making headlines today, and I uh, can't believe we're already at the weekend, and we'll be back again next Wednesday because of the last two days of Sukkot. We will be observing them, and, but in the meantime, if you want some reading material for the next five or so days, don't forget you can check us out online at www dot lay of the land dot online you can read a fascinating article by Dave Kaplan uh, who has written about how the Anglican Church has uh, uh, signed up as supporters of the BDS movement however they are remaining eerily silent on the persecution of Christians in Africa 
and the Middle East. Don't forget to check out that article and other interesting articles there. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook page tomorrow to see where in Israel we will be for Shabbat. I'm not going to tell you. You're going to check it out. While you're there, like us and follow us. Share our content. When you do, it is greatly appreciated. And it also gets Israel's narrative out to the public. And while you're doing that, you can also... Um, click on our YouTube channel, that's The Israel Brief. Click on subscribe. The more subscribers we have, the easier it is to get Israel's story out to the world. And uh, we need you to play your part in helping us do so. So without further ado, Chag Sameach. Uh, if you are celebrating Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom wherever you are, and a wonderful welcome, uh, a wonderful weekend. Got a lot of uh, tripping on my tongue to do today. But anyway, I'm Rodine Marks. This is the Israel Brief. We'll chat again next week.